Israel's waging another offensive, though this is a bit of a charm offensive in China. And Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is likely to secure lucrative trade deals and will be looking to convince the Asian giant to cool its multi-billion dollar relations with Iran. But Beijing's political favor is vested fully with Israel's arch rival, that of Palestine. Its leader, Mahmoud Abbas, was given full state honors and China's support as he visited just a day before. A meeting in the capital, President Xi Jinping went to offer a four-point peace plan, calling for an end to the Gaza blockade and the restoration of Palestinian rights. Artis Paula Slia now reports on the rush to the east. The Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and the Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas are currently in China. They're there on a week-long business trip, but obviously they won't just be talking business, they'll be talking politics, and they'll be trying to further cooperate and entrench relations in the fields of economy, trade and science, and also develop mutual political trust. For some time, we have witnessed how China is trying to influence the Middle East and play a bigger role in this part of the world. If you look at Israeli-Chinese relations, in 1992, the two countries began and established diplomatic relations. And since then, they have developed increasingly close commercial, military and strategic links. Trade between the two countries currently stands at around $10 billion a year. Their investments in Israel are at the beginning only. But I believe they have a number of reasons why they invest or why they don't invest in Israel. I think they think also in large political terms. They think Israel is an important country. <clears throat> they want to have a foothold here. But uh, we also noticed that uh, China's, China has always supported the Arab side in the conflict, at least verbally. But we noticed that in the, last, uh, in the recent past, they have become maybe a little bit more hesitant. And maybe they want to get something back from the Arab side. What is particularly interesting when we look at the relationship between Israel and China is that it seems to be coming on the back of a cooling of a relationship between Israel and the United States. There's no secret that the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and the American President Barack Obama do not like each other. And obviously Netanyahu is going to look around and search for new partners, one of whom could easily become China. If you take note of how China is getting more and more powerful, of how the world is becoming more multipolar, then it is clear that there is no room for ignoring a world power such as China. If you look at the euro crisis, where did countries go in terms of asking for help? China. If you look at the North Korea crisis, where did countries go? They asked China for help. Now, Netanyahu is in China at a particularly sensitive time in terms of Israeli-Syrian relations. Many people asking why he did not cancel his trip to go there and, in fact, what role the recent Syrian-Israeli flare-up will have in terms of the agenda that is being addressed there. China has always had a firm position towards Syria and it has always been on the side of negotiation. Never did it support the bloodshed from either side of the conflict. So it'll be interesting to see what comes out of, if anything, Israeli-Chinese discussions over the situation in Syria. Correspondent Paula Slear right there. And while Israel is under no illusion that it can persuade Beijing to abandon Palestine's cause, there are plenty of other opportunities for it. That's according to Professor Steve Tsang, the director of the China Policy Institute at the University of Nottingham. I don't think Netanyahu has any illusions in terms of being able to persuade China on matters over Syria or Iran. The difference is in what the Chinese government would be willing to accept and what the Israeli government would like to do on, on those matters are just far too wide. There are plenty of other relationships between Israel and China where they can easily develop and promote and enhance. Um, but then, of course, on this occasion, the visit is not purely bilateral, because the Chinese have clearly also arranged for Abbas to go to China one day ahead of Netanyahu. And there, of course, also reflects the Chinese desire to project the image that China is first and foremost loyal to its closer friend. And China has been a very strong supporter of the Palestinians for decades.